All right, chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is everything working? Okay. 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 We had a another. Oh, okay. So I got I gotta talk about this for a second. The I love Discord. I love Discord. I love its platform. I think it's absolutely fantastic in the way that it works, except for one thing. My channel, for whatever reason, gets hit by bots. It seems like every day, right? Maybe every other day, if I'm being generous to the bots, that they take some time off, you know, to see their bot families or whatever. So today I was like, I, I want to get this done. I want to stop this stuff. So I set Discord's securities to the highest. You need to have a verified phone number for your Discord account, right? You need to click different buttons and accept rules and all this stuff. Like it's not like automated, whatever. I did all of this. It took like two hours today to set this all up. The bots still get through. They still get through. I do not understand. So now I have a, a I have a Discord bot that like kind of does some basic stuff. He is now on patrol. All right, woodworking assistant is is gonna start getting aggressive so if anyone has a server invite it is just gonna be deleted right away and that's that's the new goal is that's gonna happen and repeat the text you delete the messages and just i'm gonna we're gonna figure this out chat we're gonna figure this out <laughs> this is what i deal with this is like the stupid stuff that no one ever talks about with content creation when people are like, oh, how can content creation take so much time, right? How, how, how is it so, so time consuming? Like you just live stream, you know, a couple of nights a week for three, four hours. And you know, you just do some quick videos and whatever. And it's stupid stuff like this. It took two hours today to set moderation that didn't even work. <laughs> it's also part of the reason why I'm late. Anyway, hopefully everyone's doing well. That's my, that's my rant. If anyone has ideas of how to stop spam in, in Discord, let me know. But we'll see. All right, Joshy, how's it going? This is gonna be some, uh, this is some wild opening music. I wasn't even listening to it. I had my headphones off. I wasn't even sure music was, well, I knew music was playing because I see the mixer like bouncing up and down. But I didn't know uh, what was playing. Gilman, how's it going for doing well? This game will be legendary, let's go. Giant lasagna day, I'm not first. I clicked right when the notification popped up. Not fast enough. You need to be there before the notific notification pops up. Uh, YouTube, do me a huge favor. If you have not yet, make sure to hit the, or hit the live button. Hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. There's a lot of people here today. I guess we're all going to learn it together. I'm excited. I'm excited that you're excited. And you're excited because I'm excited? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you guys are quick. They are quick. I think they're just waiting around because I was late. I'm surprised that I just didn't like walk into a chat that was just saying how late I was because you know that'd be great too. It's the rise of the machines, the Discord Sentinels, dude. It's, it's ridiculous. Tell woodworking assistant to start using his woodworking tools as weapons, dude. I'm I pfft. auto moderator ignores and doesn't affect other bots. Now you are the only bot auto moderator. Uh, sorry, it's like yelling at me about something. I guess it's trying to do. We're working bot paired with an aggressive deck. I love it. Most of the stream or most of the stress comes off camera. <sighs> like what you see on camera is like 20% of the work. <laughs> it's wild. And especially when like novel sees like the back end stuff and like all this stuff running and what's going on, how it's working and how things sound. And she's like, that's annoying. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> but it's fun. Actually, I shouldn't say it's annoying. It's just, it's fun. It is fun. So I'm also looking at some different moderator tools, auto mod rule set, automation. Uh, these allow your moderators to kick ban temper. You don't have. Oh, I can ban someone when they have three infractions in five minutes. Yeah, ban them all. Ban them all, moderator. Okay, it might be, that might be a bit aggressive. We'll do 10 infractions. Uh, the teaching was very successful. Play one game and she wants to bring her friend to learn uh, two next time. More champions, but more teaching. Well, there you go. That's still cool, though. I like it. Also, I tried on YouTube for those that are on the YouTube. And if you have the emotes, I added two more emotes. Now you get the LOL and the Poggers emotes. I'll put them in there. 
uh, for Spider-Man. I need to get more members. And this isn't like a weird call out to like, give me more members. But once I start getting more members, um, this will start going up. So just FYI, people are wondering why does Twitch have more? I, I don't know. It's just what Twitch does. <laughs> Uh, I'm excited for this. I've got a massive legendary collection I've never even played. So my, okay. So there was a, a viewer that was really, really kind in saying this to me. And really quick, I need to look at the viewer. Because they asked me. Hold on. Where is it? Um, oh, shoot. Yo, is it, I don't think there's a way to search all your messages, is there? That would be nice. But a viewer sent me um, a copy of this game and they asked me to shout them out. And I, I will do that once I f find who it was. Oh, wait, wait, no, it was an email. It was an email. Um, but anyway, so they sent me the box, right? So they sent me the box and uh, it was very, very kind to them. And they had Fantastic Four, I think, expansion in there as well. And um, they, they had the Fantastic Four expansion there and they shipped it. And of course, like UPS, like throws the box everywhere. So like all the cards are mixed together. So we got to kind of figure that out as well. Uh, Kim, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, okay, so. I will shout this person out. Go to Instagram if you have it and check out Hey Jude Board Games. All right. So this is their at handle. Is that going to come through all right? Yeah. So Hey Jude Board Games, appreciate the support. Um, they they sent me this copy uh, for me to play. They are a fan of this game. They, want, they wanted to share it with the community. So thank you to them. Uh, he's got a Instagram account. Instagram.com, and uh, I believe he posts his 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 collection of games up there. I have to double check now. Hold on, I gotta look at. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got posts up there of different games. He just did a giveaway recently, which I I should have done. Um, and his child's adorable, so you should uh definitely support them. Wait, wait, wait. Here's here's their page. Hopefully, I'm not putting anything personal anywhere. But oh, okay, yeah, no, we're good. So this is their channel. Definitely check it out. Like I said, a thank you to them. Uh, it means a lot. Any support. Oh, I have to now sign into Instagram. Not doing that. Go support Jude's channel. I think I've got some Spider-Man Carnage expansion from my Marvel Legendary. I saw that, and I do want to get that. Even if I don't, like, love this game, I kind of want to get that because it looked super cool. We crushed Rhino. I told her about some games where you're the ones, where the ones who get crushed. Yeah. Paint the Town Red expansion? Oh, uh, is that what it's called? It had a picture of Carnage on it, and I was like, give it to me, please. All I know about Legendary is that they have a James Bond version. I really wanted to get the Alien version. I think Beast Snow, who's a mod who usually sometimes comes in here, um, he, I think, got it, and I'm jealous. AOA should finally be arriving for you? Dude, that's awesome. It's about time. It's about time. <laughs> Leon, how's it going? I feel like you're saying hello like you can't see the stream or something. Or maybe your chat wasn't coming through. But hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully. Hopefully it's working. My LGS has the Matrix one. I think he has the Matrix one too. This is a tough game to get caught up on, but at some, at the same time, a lot of people are selling collections as they are just done with it. I've heard a lot of people, um, once Champions came out, they got away from this game. And there's a, there's actually a Twitch creator named Bagel Top Games, who I really like his channel a lot. Um, can I put it? How do how do I put user? User display information. All right, user bagel. Oh, wait, do I have to put it in brackets? I don't know how Twitch works. Bagel top games. Is that going to work? No user matching that login. Well, son of a gun. Twitch bagel top games. I know he exists. I've, I've, I watch his stuff. 
my god he has a website he's so much fancier than i am they go top games no it's what i said it was how dare you how dare you twitch user they go top games or do they have to be a user in the chat is that the only way this works yeah it might be the only way it works whatever uh but anyway he plays it a lot and i watch his stream sometimes in the background i think he only streams thursday nights now uh, but it's it's uh, actually i could just go to twitch so silly chat twitch.tv slash prototop games so this is his channel he does a lot of marvel legendary if you ever want to check it out um oops i'll put it in the the thing so youtube can see it too but um he does a lot of legendary which is if you're like really into that he does it. it's a really good setup it's really interesting like i don't even know what's going on half time so that's why i'm excited to play this game and learn it so that i can finally like maybe learn what he does uh i have an instant post where it shows a spidey plush burning a campfire and the caption is mr stark i don't feel so <laughs> i have a ton of legendary that i haven't played in a very long time the legendary uh version alien predator matrix others really improve the game yeah i heard they can all like mix and match or something Though I don't really fully understand it. Cameras is more focused and purposely balanced. Also, welcome you. Hopefully, you're doing well. This stream is working for me. Okay, good. I, hopefully, it is. Question mark. <laughs> I purchased the What If and really enjoyed it. It is funny that Marvel Champions didn't connect with me like Legendary again. Did? Really? Oh, wait, John. It didn't connect with you? And you still follow my channel? I appreciate the support and dedication. <laughs> Speaking of streams, Havoc and I will be starting our Gotham campaign for the custom content TTS tonight. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Are you doing it on Havoc's channel? Definitely uh, feel free to throw the link in there. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun to watch. Even though you all stream for like 3 a.m. for me. Okay. Let us not waste too much time. Because I have to set this up and I have to learn how to play. So you're going to see some... You're going to see some back-end stuff while we set this up. Because I didn't have time to. So let's just let's just figure this out. Right, chat? So... We probably don't need life. Right? That's probably not something we need. Oh my god, everything changed. Alright, let's get rid of all of that. Because we don't need... It. Okay, cool. So this is the box. Oh, my camera's off and everything. How is my camera off? Something hit the camera. Okay, so here's our box. All the cards are mixed in. Terrible. That's a note. Hope you enjoy the game. Make sure you get Valkyrie the Goat. Can't wait to see the content. Keep it the good work. Big fan. Hey, Jude, board games. Appreciate it, dude. All right, so we have a rule book for the Fantastic Four. That was the other thing that they gave me. Um, which, we'll see. We'll see if we get that. All right, there's the rule book. I'm probably going to need that. There's a lot of cards in there, and they're all mixed together because I came in, like when I opened the box, they were all shuffled about. So we're going to have to figure that out. Oh, shoot. How big is this board? Don't be too big. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. No, this fits. Okay, we can, we can do this. Okay. Very happy with it. Are you playing one-handed? And if you are using solo rules from Dark City, so I don't have Dark City. I have just this. And I don't know yet. I haven't fully decided. I, I've been told you should play two handed. But I also don't listen to what people tell me. So here we are. All right. So we have. Oh, God. There's so much mixed together. Okay. I feel like. I don't remember what all these things do. All right, let's... All right, there's Fantastic Four stuff. I guess the Fantastic Four stuff can just be mixed in, right? That probably doesn't matter too much. Also, wait, wait. I gotta turn off this music before I get hit with a copyright. Okay. Am I late? No, no, we're just starting. Hyper Man two-handed has improved solo rules. The solo rules in the base game aren't great. Of course they're not. All right, so all right, schemes. I remember reading about this with scheme twists and whatnot. Um, 
All right, the thing. All right, so we have rogue, the thing. Rogue, rogue, rogue. All right, mastermind tactic. I remember learning about masterminds. They're they're a thing. And they're not my thing. So I'll put them in a separate pile. Galactus, that's cool. All right, so let's just organize our cards really fast. If there's some, there's some quick rules I should know, people feel free to put them in. I think I'm only allowed to pick a certain amount of heroes, right? All right, here's villains. We'll put villains up there for now. Human Torch, uh, Nick Fury, I guess goes in there. Uh, Human Torch, Mr. Fantastic, Silver Surfer. Is he a good guy in this? Or is he a bad guy? Uh, Rogue. Okay, wait, wait. All right, so we got more Rogue stuff, more Nick Fury stuff. All right, we're just putting the heroes in like a pile. And then we'll organize the pile later. All right, Silver Surfer looks like a good guy at this point. So we'll just organize this. Because again, this came in all over the place. All right, so these are all heroes, right? Yeah, those are all heroes. Uh, hero. All right, Mastermind goes there. Mr. Fantastic. Uh, Mr. Fantastic. Flame on. Torch guy. Okay. Uh, Human Torch. All of them. Okay. Rogue. Nick Fury. What is this, Hothead? Oh, Human Torch, okay. Rogue. Okay. Okay, oh, this looks different. Uh, villain, Subterranean. We didn't have Subterranean yet, right? Yeah, okay, so they're gonna go up there. Uh, villain, Heralds of Galactus. Okay, that's another different guy. Heralds of Galactus. All right, Heralds of Galactus. Heralds of Galactus, okay. This is a scheme thing, I know we need that for later. Silver Surfer and Villain, something else. Okay, cool. All right, so in chat, let me know if you've played this. Let me know if there's anything Moloid's Villain that I should know, that I should, I should expect, that I should do to make my life easier. Oh, okay, I remember these. These are like your generic, like, building things, right? I remember that. Torch thing. Okay. Now we have a bunch more cards. I can't remember anything about how to play this. Oh, we have Hulk. Hulk is an option. All right. So he's going to be a hero, right? Does anyone know how many heroes we get? All right. These look like regular cards, like not the expansion. So I might keep the expansion out from this. So let me put the expansion stuff together and kind of keep that separate for now, I think. Just to maybe make my life a little easier. We'll keep the scheme twist out. And the that stuff. Because that might be useful. The, the scheme twist might be with um, the expansion. But we'll kind of keep them together I guess. I do remember the general gist is like. The villains come in. They push through things. And whatever. Well there's four heroes in Fantastic Four. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I do like Wolverine. Oh, we can finally pick a Deadpool. Maybe that isn't bad. Oh, Emma Frost. I do want to be Emma Frost because we're not going to see that Marvel Champions. Cyclops can go in the trash. Okay, so here's a villain. Spider foes. Oh, Venom. That's fun. Oh, Green Goblin. There's so many spider foes. That makes me so happy. Scroll shapeshifters. Okay. Three heroes per player of playing solo. What if you're playing two-handed? I thought it was like four or five. There should be five heroes in the Fantastic Four. <laughs> All right, Mystique. Enchantress? Oh, my worst nemesis. Should we go against the Enchantress? Since she is my real-life nemesis. All right, there's a lot of villains. All right, so we have all those. All right, Red Skull. Okay. Five heroes normally. I think there's 14 cards per hero. All right. Cries are no pressure, but you're going to be my main guy right now. Or gal. I don't, don't want to assume too much. All right. So we have schemes. Then we have scheme twists, right? I remember these being important. Master strike. I remember important. Bystanders. Important, I'm sure. Wounds, also important, I'm sure. Okay, these are the shield cards. 
So we'll put all these aside. This is the expansion stuff. Except it has Rogue in it, which I feel like should be actually in the main thing. So maybe we should add Rogue. I guess Fantastic Four stuff probably has Fantastic Four, right? Probably makes the most sense. Don't don't answer that, chat. I don't need your nonsense right now. All right, so fight Rhino. Get, get out of here. All right, uh, there's a Rogue. I, I assume Rogue is not in the Fantastic Four. I mean, maybe she is. I don't know how they do expansions. I assume Nick Fury is not in the Fantastic Four. But maybe they are. All right, let's just get this here. So should I just play two-handed and just suck it up and figure it out? I feel like I should. Everyone just says, like, you have to do it that way. And I want the first game to be somewhat enjoyable for everyone. Okay, cool. Got it. Hey, Zion, how's it going? You sound like someone who knows how to play, so help me out. All right, so let us learn. I like solo, but only with advanced solo rules. Yes, apply two-handed. All right, perfect. All right, so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to learn the game. Hopefully, by me learning the game, you learn the game. And then we're going to play the game. And we're going to see how that goes. Hopefully, we could do a whole game. I don't know if it takes a really long time or not. I feel like when I watch like Bagel Top Games stream, he takes like three hours to play a game. And he seems good at it. But he might be playing on a harder level than I am. <laughs> Been playing since 2020? Love it. It's enough for me. Rogue is not in the Fantastic Four. Okay, perfect. 100 cards, 5 heroes, 14 cards each. Jimmy Fantastic Four... Okay, so there's only four heroes. Oh, no, five heroes. Wait, who's the fifth one? Oh, Silver Surfer is the fifth one. Okay. Chat teaches streamer a game. I would love it. Takes about usually an hour for me. Okay, I could do that. Play Red Skull and you'll be fine. Okay. All right, let's do this. What does it say to do? So, game setup. Give each player their own personal 12-card deck. Eight shield agents and four troopers. All right, this is easy. This game is easy so far. All right, so agents and troopers. These are officers, so not them. Okay, officer can go here for now. So how many troopers we said? Four. One, two, three, four. Done. Game is, oh, there's a fifth one. Well, he goes off to the side. And then, wait, wait, wait. I can't get myself enough troopers then. You have to give each player. I have a lot of agents, but I don't have enough troopers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I'm missing troopers. 20 troopers in the base set. Uh, not in my base set. Unless they're in here. Oh, wait, wait, there's some in here. There's some in here. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. So one, two, three. What do we say? Four? Four. All right. Cool. All right. Let's do, uh, let's, let's move Rogue and Nicholas. All right. Player, player one, player two. Each player draw a card. That's what I'm hoping for. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Cool. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, perfect. Good there. All right, game stacks. Put these stacks of cards face up in their spaces on the board. Use all the cards to type. Okay, so 30 officers or shield officers. That's Murray A. Hill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 30. Okay, we got 30. Face up. Face up, Maria Hill on her spot. Let's go. All right, I'm going to move these off camera a little bit. What's this game? Marvel Legendary. 
All right, 30 wounds and 30 bystanders. So let's make sure we have wounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Hopefully that's enough wounds. <laughs> there might be one mixed in somewhere else. Exactly 30? I don't know. <laughs> 2, 3, 4. Oh, shoot. That's a master strike. That should be there. Uh, 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, three, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Always good to make sure you have a complete game. Yeah, yeah. I am missing a wound, but that's okay. We don't need. Okay, so we got all that. Pick one mastermind at random. Okay, we're not gonna do it randomly. We gotta find the masterminds. All right, so there's a bunch of villains, but they're not masterminds, right? Those things are different. A villain is a villain, but a mastermind is a mastermind. You know what I mean? As they say. Uh, that's henchman. 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 Oh, wait, wait. Oh, mastermind. Okay. All right. So, chat. What do we want? Do we want Red Skull? Do we want um, Dr. Doom? Do we want Magneto? Or do we want Loki? One wound down, all the games are invalid now, basically. Now people are just going to call me a cheater. There's a recommended first game. Yeah, but it's what chat wants. <laughs> all right, we'll do Red Skull. All right, let me... Get Red Skull. I want Rhino. There, I mean, there. if there was a Rhino option, I would. All right, so put the Mastermind card face up on the Mastermind board. Okay. Can do. Red Skull. Got it. Take the four Mastermind Tactics cards that match the Mastermind you selected. Put them underneath the Mastermind card face down in random order. Okay. So I'll randomize this really fast. Put this under Red Skull. Cool. Pick one scheme at random. All right. So we have the schemes, right? These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, put it face up on the scheme space on the board. Each scheme card has a setup section. Follow the setup instructions for that scheme now. The scheme's card setup always tells you how many like things you need. Okay, so we just need one of these. So we'll do third one down as usual. And we got replace Earth's leaders with kill bots. This sounds, this sounds aggressive. All right, so set up five twists. Oh, wait, wait, where's our twist? Here's our twist. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we have five. Oops, shoot. Just like threw a card on the ground. Five twists, three additional twists next to this scheme. Okay, let's get one, two, three additional ones next to this scheme. All right. Um, 18 total abide standards in the villain deck. Okay, so we have to count off 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so this goes in the villain deck. Oh, that's going to be this thing. That's right. Okay. Can has kill bot victims with attack. Okay. Put the twist next. Put the twist next to this scheme. Evil wins if five of them escape. Okay, we can do that. So wait, these twists. One, two, three, four. They go in a deck, right? Pick one scheme at random, put it face up. Okay, now scheme is set up. Tell you how many scheme twists put in the villain deck. So five twists go into the villain deck, right? Also have unique special rules. Okay. And then we put the three to the side because we might need them for other things. Okay. All right, villain deck. Add five master strike cards to the villain deck. Okay, we saw that. Oh yeah, they're up there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, can do. Now add villain groups to the villain deck. A villain group is a group of eight villain cards that work together, like Hydra or Skulls. Each villain card lists its villain group under its card name. The more players you have in the game, the more villain groups you use, as shown in this table. 
Don't forget to add Shadow in the past due. It will find its way in. All right, so we're doing number of players. So we're going to add two villain groups, one henchman group, and two bystanders. So we put in more bystanders, right? All right, so we have our villain deck. I think that's what this is. So we have spider foes. Hydra. You said Hydra is pretty easy. All right, let's do Hydra as one of them. How many did they say it was? Did they say how many cards it was? No, they didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them so far. Scrolls. Brotherhood. Uh, what's this? Radiation. I want to do like the maybe the spider ones. Enemies of Asgard. Oh, but that has Enchantress in it. Now we're not going to do it tonight. Masters of Evil probably thematically makes sense, but I don't know if we're going to do that. And Henchman Vill. Oh, we, I think Henchman goes separately. 18 total or 18 additional? Um, eight, oh, 18 total. Okay, so we take out two of them. So we put the 18 in. Okay, okay. All right, so let's do... The Hydra ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And I want to do the spider ones too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Because spider seems fun. Okay. To add uh, villain groups, each mastermind card says that the mastermind always leads a particular villain group or henchman group. Be sure to include... Okay. Mastermind tactic, Red Skull. Wait, where does it say that? He does not say that. It just says Hydra Conspiracy. What do the other ones say? The other ones say that? Oh yeah, that one says always leads. That one says always leads. But not Red Skull. Okay, so Red Skull does it. Okay, so. Be sure to include a pick the other villain groups at random. Okay, so villain group... We did two. We need one henchman group. Pick that many henchman groups at random. Henchmen are weaker villains where the group has 10 identical cards. Okay, so we need henchmen. Where was that? All right, here we go. That's my card in the tactic pile. What? I don't even know where the tactic pile is. This one? I don't even know what this one is. Henchman. Oh, Henchman Villain. That's this. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's face down under Red Skull. No. We're good, right? This is Nick Fury, though. This guy go somewhere else. Oh, wait. The Mastermind card. Oh, oh, you're right. I did. I did. I did. I did. Good catch. All right. So always leads Hydras. All right. So I had to put in Hydra anyway. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we did that. We did the other villain group, which is the spider group. Then we have to do the henchmen group. Um, We'll do sentinels. They were on top. They seem fun. Always KO or fight KO one of your heroes. Ugh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, 10 of that. Add bystanders. Uh, we did that already, right? We we did the total already, so we don't have to do any more. Hero deck. There are 15 different heroes in the game. There are 14 cards for each of these heroes. Make the hero deck this way. Pick five heroes at random for each of those heroes. Add 14 cards into the hero deck. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, D'Angelo, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. Jay, how's it going? Zion, Peter, get rid of weak cards as your crew. Okay. All right, let's make our hero piles. Let's figure out our heroes, right? And decide what we're going to do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so we have Rogue. Who's on Team Rogue? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have Nicholas Fury. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait, this changed. 
Okay, we only have three of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, got Wolverine. And so it's um, it's five for each player, right? Five heroes at random. I'm not doing it randomly. I'm doing it like a champ. Or is it five total? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Five total. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Can we agree on Emma Frost, chat? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Can we agree not on Cyclops? 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. Cyclops is good. Well, yeah, he can be not used. <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Not doing marbles. Black Widow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Is Black Widow like legit good? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, cool. If you have lots of bystanders, okay. If she's broken in that scenario, then I want that. So I do want that then. I need I need all the advantages I can get. So let's say we do Black Widow, who's black and red. So that's one. I kind of like, I like Emma Frost and we're never going to get that, I feel like, in Marvel Champions. So, let's do Emma Frost. I think Emma Frost should be two. Spider-Man? Classic? Maybe? Who's good? Iron Man is good in black? I don't even know where he is. Hold on, I'll find him. Oh, Iron Man. Should we add Iron Man? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, let's do Iron Man. So, that's three. I like Iron Man a lot. One of my favorites. Who else is good? Don't say Cyclops. We have White Queen as Nemesis. At least, yeah, at least we have that going on. All right, so we have three. We need two more. Um, so there's a lot of black. All right, so he's blue and green, it looks like. He's yellow. Nick is... Lots of different things. Rogue's a lot of different things. De is Deadpool good? Wolverine's pretty good. Let you draw extra. All right, I like Wolverine in general. So let's do Wolverine. Wolverine likes yellow. Well, we have some yellow. Is this yellow? I don't know what color it is. It just looks regular. Oh, I guess it is yellow. Nick is good? All right, Nick will be our last one. We won't do Spider-Man. Killing me, chat. All right, let's just do that. Let's see what happens. All right, let's just see what happens. Interesting Marvel team up. Is it the new future meta of this game? I don't know. It's too early to say, but it might be. Might not be. Valkyrie comes in a later expansion. She's too good. You don't want to put her in the base. Okay. Cool. Start. Oh, okay. I have to shuffle these, right? I assume. All right. Well, uh, shuffle the villain deck starting the game. Put it face down in the villain's face. Okay. We can shuffle. I'm pretty good at that. So, what was the team? Black Widow, Iron Man, Emma Frost, Nick Fury, and Wolverine, right? Yeah, Wolverine. That is the team. All right, Peter. Take care. Have a good one. Hopefully, you come back so you can yell at me at what I'm doing wrong. All right, then we have to shuffle the hero deck and place it face down. All right, we could do that. So far, so good. I can see why people like champions, though, because you get to, like, be a hero versus, like, not, I guess. But that's all right. That's all right. I'm digging it so far. 
Each player shuffles their own personal deck and draws a card of six from it. Okay. We'll deal with that in a second. I hope you love this. It's really fun. Corset is super easy, though. I will take super easy. <laughs> I will take super easy every time. Ended up being the kind of game I was looking for in Legendary. Interesting. I feel like that's what a lot of people said. Okay. So now we have to make our headquarters. So flip the five cards in the hero deck into the five spaces. We have Iron Man's Arc Reactor. Iron Man's Endless Invention. Okay, I don't think I shuffled this well enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle them again. <laughs> I feel like having I'm used to having sleeves where I can like put them on top like this and do it. Alright, don't yell at me, chat. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I was going to bridge it, and I can't. I, I can't bridge it. The difference seems to be where you be the hero, where you're creating um, like a story. I, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, God. Oops. Sorry, bystander. Hulk, Hulk, Spidey, Hulk, Spidey. Yeah, just get like three core boxes, right? Okay. Ugh, feels dirty. Hopefully not Iron Man. Okay, Nick Nicholas Fury with high tech weaponry. Wolverine with frenzy slashing. Iron Iron Man again with arc reactor. Oh, okay, another Iron Man with endless invention. And Emma Frost, Shadow Thoughts. What a monster playing with sleeves, dude. It feels dirty. Okay, oh, we have to now shuffle our personal deck. And then each player shuffles their deck uh, and draws six from it. So we only have 14 to start with. So we'll see how that goes. All right, that's player one. Game hasn't earned the right to be sleeved yet. Fact check true. I have to make a minimum investment of at least 500 into you before you get sleeved. <laughs> All right, player two. Okay, so now... Put this up here. Draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see what we have. We have a shield agent, 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 and a shield agent. Okay, cool. Can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. On the player two side, we have a shield trooper, a shield agent, a shield agent, shield agent, shield agent, shield agent. Okay, let's go. All right, so on your turn, you play the top card of the villain deck. Depressing. Don't like that. Then you play cards from your hand, using them to recruit and fight. You discard your hand and draw six new cards. Okay, so we're doing Hulk strategy, basically. So it's going to start with step one, play the top card of the villain deck. At the beginning of your turn, reveal a top card of the villain deck and play that card. What you do with that card depends on what kind of card it is. There are four kinds. Uh, villains, bystanders, schemes, twists, master strikes. Okay, so it goes into like the whole anatomy. We don't really need to worry about that. So they enter the city and they're going to work this way across. And then eventually they're going to escape, which is not good. We don't want escaping. Escaping means bad. So it will, if there's one in this slot, it's going to slowly keep pushing everyone over. But let's say there's one here and nothing here and one here. And this moves over. It doesn't push this over, right? It has to like physically push it over. All right, so a villain might escape if they push out the final spade and escapes. It goes in the escape villain board face up. This is what happens. The escaping villain KOs a hero that costs six or less from the HQ. Not good. And KO stands for knocked out. Thank you for telling me that. The player whose turn it is chooses which one of the heroes gets knocked out. Put that hero into the KO pile of the game board. I have a KO pile? Oh, the giant thing in the middle. Um, okay, so that goes there. Immediately flip a new hero card. Fill up the space. Okay. Um, okay, so new heroes might have ambush. Um, so we'll worry about that when we get there. We'll worry about the villain deck is a bystander. We'll worry about that later. We'll read all of that as we flip it over, right? We're just going to kind of go through it. So let's do step one. Let's see what we get. Step one is a bystander. All right, so a bystander comes in. Let's see what that means for us. So 
If the villain card is a bystander, this innocent bystander is captured by a villain. Oh no, put the bystander under the villain in the city that's closest to the villain deck. Okay, there is none. If there are no villains in the deck, then the bystander is captured by the mastermind. Oh no, Red Skull. Wait, what do I have to do with that? Um, wait, wait, wait. I missed my spot. Make sure the bystander pokes out a bit so the players can see it. Okay, so we have to put it under here, right? Because it's captured by the, the mastermind. Uh, make sure the bystander pokes that bit so you can see it. Whenever a villain with one or more bystanders moves to a new space, bystanders move with it. It's up to the players to rescue that bystander. When a villain or mastermind with a bystander is defeated by a player, that player rescues the bystander and puts it into the player's personal victory pile. Each bystander is worth one VP. Okay. So, so we did it. We did the first thing. Red Skull has now captured an innocent bystander. I, I thought I stood for K Kevin Owens. Um, so double check. Okay. So, special rules. Bystanders in the villain deck count as killbot villains. Oh, okay. So that, they are a killbot villain. That is what they do now. All right. Their attack equals the number of twists next to this scheme. Oh, okay. So it starts with three. Actually, let's put this up here so that people can see how many twists there are. All right. So we have, we have three. Hopefully that, that can be seen all right. So actually a bystander is a killbot, which is sad. Put the twist next to this scheme. If five killbots escape, evil wins. Okay, so we have to kill the bystanders. I know they're killbots, but we now have to kill them. Okay, so now we get to play our cards. All right, step two, play cards. Uh, the only types of cards that can be in your hand are heroes and wounds. Here are the different parts of a hero card, and it goes through all the different types. After you play the top card of the villain deck, you play the cards from your hand. Some of the cards produce recruit points. Um which is a golden star. Then there's attack ones, there's special abilities, and there's costs. So, what can we do? Play each card from your hand in any order, one at a time. Each time you play a card, do what the card says, not what the card doesn't. You also get any recruit points listed in the recruit icon. All right, so you might as well play all your cards in your hand, right? There's no reason not to. All right, so superpower ability, we'll worry about that in a bit, I guess. You can use that special superpower ability only if you have a card played in the card here. Okay. Sometimes you can't. Okay. All right, so there's different things with superpower abilities. Some cards have superpower abilities with the hero class icon and colon, like Hulk Fist, you get plus one star. You can use that special ability only if you have already played another card of that hero class earlier in your turn. Interesting. That's a little confusing, but we'll figure that out. Example of superpower abilities. Thor Odison card shown here has the Hulk. But if you already played another... But if you have already played another Hulk Fist card earlier this turn, then you can use O's and superpower ability to get it. When do you always, as long as you have two of them in your hands, basically? Wait, if you play two O's and cards as your first two cards of your turn, you won't get to use superpower ability. Oof, we have to figure that out. The order you play cards matters. Okay. So you don't just flop them down. You play them in a certain order. Okay. Recruiting heroes. In between playing cards from your hand or after you played all your cards, you can recruit any number of heroes to fight any number of villains. Okay. Use recruit points, which is the golden stars, um, from the HQ ability. The HQ area of the board has five spaces. Those five spaces have exactly five heroes all face up. You can also recruit shield officers. Okay. Cool. So use recruit points either to the hero's cost and put that hero into your discard pile. The hero's cost is in the lower right-hand corner. Yep, got that. That's fine. Uh, Professor Doc, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, so that's how you do it. How to fight a villain. You will you will attack the villain. You will use attack to fight any number of villains in the city one at a time. It doesn't matter which city they're in. Okay. Expand attack equal to the villain's attack to defeat it. You then have the remaining attack value to pick another. Okay, so you pick one and then another. But defeat villain, okay. It's a fight effect. 
do it says prior to comparing. Okay, they have no fight effect. All right, cool. Discard your hand. Okay. All right, I think we got it. So we're going to take, we only have for player one, we're going to do player one first. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. They only have stars on them, right? That's all they have. So I can get six recruit points. So uh, we're going to play all, uh, we might as well just, I'm not KOing them, I'm just putting them out there so we can see them. We might as well get some heroes. Now, Nick and Iron Man can kind of work together. And I feel like we should do this. This is a deck building game, right? Yes. Also, welcome, Canadian. Hopefully, you're doing well. Uh, recruit points equals Starbucks. Fight equals punchies or slashies. <laughs> I used to call them two, three costs. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? We want to get more into it. Now, quick rules question. If I buy one, does it automatically get filled in so it's worth seeing what the next one is? It's like Hero Realms where you don't want to like just pick up the two, right? You pick up one and then it fills in. Or does it not fill in right away? Fills in immediately. Okay, cool. So we'll buy Iron Man. Goes into our discard pile. Fills in with a five cost Iron Man. Okay, then we'll buy Nicholas Fury. Goes in my discard pile. Fills in with an another Iron Man. Okay. That's all we can do. There's not much we could do past that, right? So all this goes into our discard pile. And then we go to this side of things. Where we have one, two, three, four, five stars and one attack. Now, they have the same as the scheme twist, which is three, right? Because their attack equals the number of twists. So it would be one, which isn't like enough to knock it out, right? Hey, Magic, how's it going? Wait, wait, does it go first player villain, then second player villain? Or do you do both both first player and second player? Before going to two? Okay. Oh, you're right. It is. Okay. One villain for each player turn. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Right. So that we're not gonna do that yet. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is empty now. And we have all attack things. We'll put that there and I'll shuffle the discard pile. Okay. Good catch. Thank you, chat. All right. So that is shuffled up for player one. Now villain phase, right? So we flip this card over. It's another bystander. Okay. So that goes there. Cool. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Is it worth it? I have no idea yet. We're You are very much in the beginning of this. So we did the villain phase. Now it's um, player two's turn. So we have one, two, three, four, five stars and an attack. So the attack can't do anything, right? But we do have five stars to work with. Uh, we can't buy two cards worth. But maybe we get... Should I, should I try to keep all the colors on one side and like other colors on another side? Is that how I should do it? You only shuffle when you need to. Oh, okay. So that discard stays discarded. So it's not as soon as it's empty. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. So we'll just keep it up over there. But yeah, that's important because then all the new cards come in. I just joined. No. Yeah. yeah. So Hamto, we're, because we're playing with uh, replace Earth's leaders with kill bots. That's why. Because this puts the bystanders in here. They're actually not bystanders. They're kill bots. So that's the, only, that's the only reason why that's happening. Can focus and draw. Okay. So we had gray over on this side. So I'm going to put. Or black. Whatever it was. I'm going to put red. I'm going to put Emma Frost on this side. And see if that works. Ooh. Hold on. The table's blurry. That's so blurry for you all. Sorry, no, 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 don't be sorry. I'd rather, I'd rather people double check this than, than not. So I'm going to buy Emma, put her in discard. New one comes up. Not a one card. Man, all these, okay, whatever. Whatever. So that was what we bought. We have one attack, but the attack does nothing. So all this 
gets discarded. Cool. Then we draw six new cards. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I left one behind. Six. This is a lot of money and three attack. Cool. Gonna buy out. You know what I mean. Don't make this weird. <laughs> so that's that. All right, let me turn the discard pile sideways so I don't actually draw that. All right, so now player one's turn. Villain deck flips up, and it's a... Okay, this is, this is a, a thing. So fight. I have to see what fight does, because fight was a thing. Um, oh no, it's ambush. That's what I'm thinking. Ambush. Okay. So now the the villain villain has come in, which is Hydra. Am I gonna take all my money? Fact check draw. Okay. So, oh wait, was there a thing that said what you do when the villain comes in? I feel like there was. All right. So strike now. Um. Okay. So it just it just. Villains enter the city, right? That's it. So what does fight say? Play the top two cards of the villain deck. I don't know what that means. Where is fight, 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 fight? Does it have a keyword? Does it not have that? Fight is when you defeat it? Okay. So I defeat it. Oh, because... You defeat one and then two more. Co I, I get it because the whole Hydra thing. That makes sense. Okay. So now we get our cards. And this is player one. We're back on. Um, so we have two monies and four attack. Now with our two monies, we can buy absolutely nothing. But with our four attack, we could take out a kill bot. What may look like an innocent bystander. It's actually a kill bot of death. And they only have three because there's three scheme twists up there, right? So we're going to do one, two, three, four. That's going to go to discard. And we're going to take out a kill bot, not an innocent bystander. So how do I win? I guess we'll worry about that later. I'm just going to kill, kill bots. Took them out. We're good there. We can't buy anything. Uh, we have to draw back up, but that deck is now empty. So we now shuffle. Kill the bystander. I'm I'm okay, I'm not killing the bystander. They're a kill bot. Bystander goes, oh, you're right. That is that is my victory to pile. Okay, we'll put that over there. Victory pile? Alright, thank you, thank you, thank you. We kill them by standards. <laughs> All right, so that is shuffled. And now we draw, what is it? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see what we got. Who is your hero? My hero is chat right now. All right, so we have Endless Invention, which allows us to draw another card. And then we have other stuff. So, okay, we'll worry about that in a little bit. So that is that card. Okay, so player two now goes and um, we draw a new card, right? All right, it's another kill bot, not a stamp, not, not innocent person. Despite what you may think, they're not innocent. All right, let's two, three, four, five, six. All right, this is our new hand, right? Yeah, three and three, right? This is our discord, discord. Yeah, that's our discard. All right, so we can buy a three cost card, which we will do, and then we could deal a uh, bystander to the death. I mean, kill bot, whatever it's called. So we'll buy three and we'll get We'll get the draw card and put that in the discard pile. Okay. And then we'll do the three attack to take out a kill bot. So that's taken out. We'll put that in the VIP or the, the, the victory point display. So that's all my cards for player two. Um, now they shuffle up because we're out of cards. Competitive cooperative part. Okay. You can always buy Maria Hill. It gives you two Starbucks. Oh, that's good. That's a good point. I forgot about Maria Hill existing. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, the back of that card's a little different. All right. I got Miss Emma Frost, Iron Man. Okay, cool. Put that there. Okay. Uh, player one side now. See what our, our enemy is. It's another kill bot. 
So first thing we'll do is we're going to play this. So we just we just draw a card, right? I mean, that seems like it will be good in the future. So we'll play that to draw a card, which is okay. Another agent. So we we have two attack and four Starbucks. Okay. Um, let's do, we'll buy endless invention again for three. All right. And then we can't do anything with two attack, right? Cause this has four. So that doesn't do anything for us. All right. So we can't really do anything. Ugh, that stinks. All right. That all gets discarded. And then we will draw back up one, two, three, four, five, six. Which is going to be uh, Nicholas, some attackers, three stars, not too bad. Before you buy everything from buy the same token, do they have stuff? Don't, don't, don't tease that unless they have it. All right, this side now, player two, we're going to move everything over. Uh, Doc Ock comes in, fight. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw eight cards instead of six. Okay, so that's when I fight him. I'll have to worry about that. Okay. All right, so we draw, or we already have our drawn cards. So the first thing we'll do is do our endless invention. They'll be on the website tomorrow. <laughs> we get to draw our card, uh, which is another star guy. Okay, you may play the top card of the villain deck. If you do, get plus two for your attack. I don't think I want to do that though. That seems strong and not great. All right, so we do have three attack to take out a bystander, which could help. So I'm thinking we do the three and then we have four dollars. Which can buy us. All right, this only works if I have another blue card, right? So the way that this, oh, this already has two on the bottom, okay. So let's use one, two, three, four dollars. Let's buy a repulsor beam. That would cost three. And then we have a one that doesn't count. Okay. And then we could do three damage. So we might as well take out a um a thing. All right. So that's that's there. And then this draws up one, two, three, four, five, six cards. We'll check out what those six are. All right. Um, okay, just like my shield stuff. Oh, wait, I just put this in the wrong pile. Two, three, four, five. Oh, God, I have so many piles to the side. Okay, this person's turn. Now, this will not shift over because it's not getting bumped by anything. So we flip that over. Okay, the, the doesn't have ambush, it's just fight. So we're going to have to start fighting things, which I'm a little worried about because I feel like I'm not good enough for that yet, but we'll see. All right, so we have two, three, four attack. Now, if we take out the Endless Army of Hydra, I feel like that's going to be rough. Because it's just going to push two more in. So I want to let that go. But Doc Ock, if we fight him, when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw eight cards instead of six. I feel like that's that's good, right? I want to do that thing. Makes sense to me. So we'll do two, three, four. And this, do they go in my victory pile too? Or do they go in the KO section? I can't remember. So we'll do two, three, four damage. Discard that to take out Doc Ock. He's on this side. I'm just going to put it there so I know where it is. And then we have $3. I think we had the blue on that side. Yeah, but we need blue too. Victory pile? Okay. So I'm going to get the Repulsor Blast for $3 and let that go. Victory pile? Okay, okay. So they, they go over here. So that was everything there. And then we get to draw. So we have one card. And then we got to shuffle our discard pile. And finish our uh, draw up. All right. So far, so good. I feel like I'm okay. Cat, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. How's everyone doing today? I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm a little stressed, but I'm doing all right. <laughs> all right. Two... Three, four, five, six. All right, so that's our hand. Sorry about that. From a different universe. How'd you get your hands on this? This was sent to us by a viewer of the channel. 
You can go support them. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I hit the right button. That's fine. Um, hey Jude Board Games on Instagram. Let's go over my kid's soccer game. Nice. Don't forget your Doc Ock cards. I'm sure I have forgotten that. Oh, yeah, it's eight. Oh, my God. I already forgot how to play the game. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, uh, now we're this player. We're going to put a villain card in. All right, uh, escape. Each player gains a wound. That doesn't seem good. You can't defeat Venom unless you have a red arrow hero. I don't have that, I think. That seems terrible. Okay, we'll deal with that later. As it compared to champions, it's very different than champions. It's very different. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deck builder instead of a deck constructor. Um, but it's good so far. I'm enjoying it. All right, so we'll do three attack to our innocent bystanders, which are kill bots. They're not bystanders. They are kill bots. So we'll deal three damage to them. Kill bot dead. And then we have three stars. Uh, I think we put blue in this pile, so we want to take this Emma Frost card and put that into that pile and draw one up. All right, so then they draw up. They have one card, and then we have to shuffle our discard pile. But yeah, so far it's 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 been fine. I feel like I'm doing okay. I don't know. Experienced people can let us know how we're doing. I'm also not a hundred percent sure how to win. <laughs> I'm kind of just going with the flow at this point. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Some of the expansions just don't seem to get reprinted and next to impossible to find that does think. My brain is melted a little watching this. Why? So far it's it's not too bad. Okay, so here's where we got a combo thing going, which can be fun. Right? Because first we can play Endless Invention to draw a card. And it's that symbol, which is going to key off of another Endless Invention. So we get to draw a card, but we get to draw another card from how I understand. All right, so we draw two cards. But then we also have Nicholas Fury, who's going to get an extra attack. So that's cool. All right, we have a decent amount of attack. What happens if we attack Mastermind? Let's look that up. I feel like I need a place to fully understand the rules myself. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. All right, so... How to fight a villain. No, I know how to fight a villain. How to fight a mastermind. That's the real question. Um, okay, a player could choose to fight the mastermind instead of fighting a villain. Like any other fight, you have to... Okay, attack. Okay. Uses different abilities. Okay. Is not truly defeated until all four of the mastermind tactic cards have been defeated by the players. All right, so masterminds use different abilities during fights. So they have mastermind tactic cards. All four mastermind tactic cards have the same attack number, but they can each have a different fight effect on them. When you fight a mastermind, choose a random card from the four face down mastermind counters card. Put that mastermind tactic card into your victory pile. It's worth several victory points. Oh, okay. Okay. So, really quick. Oh, wait, that's a henchman. I want to look at. I want to look at one of these cards. It does. So fight when you draw a new hand of cards at this end of turn. Draw three extra cards. Okay, okay. I think I see what it's doing. So, um, oh yeah, I was playing a bunch of cards. I can't stop in the middle when I'm playing two player. Can't stop in the middle. All right, so we have two. Plus an extra one from this. So it's three, four, five, six, seven damage. So we could do the mastermind hit if we really wanted to. But I don't know if it's better to like take out one of these guys instead. Which is better? Should I do the seven to, to deal mastermind damage? Or should I work on the city so I have more to work with? Draw for Iron Man card? We did. We did. We drew a lot, right? We drew three cards, I think. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we drew three more cards. Yeah, we're good. Josh, I feel like you said yes to an or question. 
and that doesn't help me out. <laughs> He got my AOA box. I think my Bishop might be my favorite mutant so far. Yeah. Magic isn't a pushover either. Now, Magic makes my brain hurt a little bit, but she's definitely good. All right. So if you have enough to hit the Mastermind, it's usually best to take it. All right. Then we're going to do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we're going to discard these seven, and we take a card from underneath. So we'll just take the bottom one. I shuffled them ahead of time, so we'll just do that. Draw two cards, then draw another card for each Hydra villain in your in your victory pile. Um, okay, so I draw two. Oh, that's that's useful. Okay, so we draw two. It's more monies. I like money. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have seven monies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we can't buy that sweet Nick Fury card. Pure Fury. So that's things. So five, what did we say I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we'll do arc reactor. Put that in our discard. So that's five, be a two cost. It's not, okay. And we can't buy that because it's three. All right, that seems good. And then we'll draw our six. So we have one, two, three. Then we need to shuffle up the rest. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so this hand is some soldiers, arc reactor thing. Okay, cool. This side now, uh, this all moves over. Oops. Um, okay, kill bot, not innocent bystander. Don't, don't think that's what it is. All right, so we have a draw card and we have lots of money. So we'll draw a card. Actually, we'll, we'll put it out here for now just so that we can see it. Um, okay, so it's more attack. So we only have two attack, which is not going to be enough, which is really unfortunate. And we have $4. So we'll spend three to get this one. Is this a one coster? No. All right, so we'll discard all this. All right, then we draw back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you want strategy advice or just rules advice? Um, let's just do rules and then we'll do strategy after the fact. Like, Tell me what I, I, I actually know you could, you could no, 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 give strategy advice because this will be a YouTube video. And if it lets people, um, yeah, lets people learn. So that's fine because people will read the comments in YouTube. So, but if I don't follow your strategy, don't get mad. Okay. So that was that. Now this side, this all moves over. Right, this comes in Sentinel henchman fight KO one of your heroes. All right, so KOing a hero is one of these, right? Not one in my hand. All right, so left person has three attack and a draw a card. So we'll draw a card. Okay, which is Repulsor. Is one of the, you played that turn. Oh, okay. So it'd be like this, for example. Okay. KO hand or played. Okay. All right, so we have two, three, four, five attack, which isn't enough for a mastermind. Um, I don't have the right symbol to take this out. I don't have that little red symbol, and we only have two, two dollars. So I guess I'll take out the lizard. I don't know. So two dollars is useless because we can't even buy that. KO a shield is what you normally do. Okay. Two, three, four, five. All right, so we'll deal five damage to the lizard. I don't know. It seems like we should take him out. Cool. Okay. So that is all of those cards. And then we draw back up. Five, six. Um, because it may be hard for that deck to hit the seventh threshold with only six card hand. Oh, I guess that makes sense. All right, well, this one's got five, six. Okay, interesting. All right, so that's a pretty decent hand. Now we go to this side. Everything moves over. 
And Hydra Kidnappers comes in. Fight. You may gain a shield officer. Well, that's that. Okay. All right. So we have Emma Frost, who is a red card. Uh, you may play the top card of the villain deck. Um, but that's only if we do another one of those. Okay. So she has two attack. We have a third one. And then we have four monies. So for example, I can use the four dollars and then okay, so here's a rules question for you all. I have four dollars. I could buy something, let's say, which is fine. If we use the three dollars to knock out the um sentinel minion, it says KO one of your heroes, right? So even though I spent this money, I can then put it in the KO pile. Like I used it and then I can I can KO it. Or does it have to not be used? Right? It has to be like sitting in my hand. Or one you've already used. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. I, okay, that makes sense now. So we're going to spend $4. Uh, we're going to get another red one. We're going to get the Dangerous Rescue Black Widow card. So that's three of the four. And okay, that's a cheap one. So then we'll spend $3 to take out the Sentinel Henchman. And in doing so, we KO one of our heroes. So we'll take out um, a Shield Agent. So we'll take out that. That's a KO. The rest of this is spent. We'll draw one, two, three. And then we have to shuffle back up. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So that's six there. Let's see what we got for fun. Uh, Arc Blast, attack, Emma draw, Emma attack. All right, cool. All right, this side, this moves over one. We flip over a Sentinel Henchman. Okay, cool. Economy is really, in this reality, is kind of <laughs> All right, so we have four of these, but we do have Arc Reactor, where you get plus one attack for each other black card you played. Or you can get, okay, so basically we have six damage between these two cards, right? Because the one, they won't trigger each other, but one will trigger the other one. So we have six damage between there, which is just shy of what we need for Red Skull. So we might as well do the Sentinel thing and we can KO one of our cards. So wait, if Black Widow can rescue a bystander, does this work for the killbots? Like, will she work for killbots? No, you have to play attack first? What do you mean? Don't you just play one, and this is three attack, and then we play the other one, which is two, and then we get that thing, right? So it's six total. It's not seven, because you can't trigger both of them, right? You only, yeah, you can't. Oh, wait, correct. You can't trigger one of them. Oh, you can't trigger one of them, right. You, tr you do trigger the one, but not the other one. Rescue a bystander means take one off the bystander. Oh, off of here? What do you do with it? Put in your victory display? Is that a good thing? Do we want that? All right. So for, what are we on this side? Left side? Yeah, left side. Oh, VP. Oh, okay. That's boring. All right. So that's six damage. And we have four of here. So... We'll spend the four. Actually, you know what? To get Maria Hill. So I feel like we might need that. And then we're going to deal six damage to take out um, the Sentinel. We're just going to KO a person. And we'll get rid of another thing. All right. And then one, two, three, four cards. And then we have to draw two more. She gets way strong for bystanders in your victories. But, ah, okay. Ooh. You could split the damage. Oh, that's right. You can. How does that work again? Um, hold on. Let me, let me, what, what, how much damage do we have? Six, we said. And we did three. All right. Then we'll do another three. We'll get rid of um, Hydra Kidnappers. So that was six total. So we'll do that. And you may get a shield officer. 
Um, so we'll do that. We'll get a shield officer. So we have to keep shuffling anyway. All right, so what do we have? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Also, let me know if uh, anything's wrong with the YouTube stuff. The stream is doing all right. If there's any issues there. Okay, so we got rid of two. That's fine. All right, this side now. All right, so this is interesting because we have two blue ones that can key off each other, right? So this, let's just draw a card. It gives us a star buck. Um, this will get plus one extra attack. So he's now got three attack. All right, so we have... All right, let's play. Let's play the draw a card. Uh, where's our pile? There's our pile. All right, Marvel Agent. Cool. The Emma Frost does have a superpower ability. Um, yeah, but this one we can't do right because we didn't play a red card. You have to play a red card to do it. One, one extra bystander, and one less watcher. <laughs> All right, so then we could play this one, which gives us three attack. Three, four, five, six attack, and then three dollars. So we have six attack. Um, we might as well do the three off of this one. And then we get three dollars. So we'll take a Black Widow for two. That's another, okay. This all gets discarded. And we draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Which is shield agents and some attack. You may KO a card from your hand or discard pile if you do rescue a bystander. Okay. Oh, that's if we do another red one. Okay. What's the villain on the bridge do? This one? Uh, so play two, play the top two cards of the villain deck. So it's like the Hydra thing. If you destroy one, two takes its place. Did you do a villain card this turn? Did I not? I don't remember now. Was I so just like in the zone? No, I think I was just in the zone. You're right. I didn't do a villain card. So this was second player's villain card. I messed up on that. It's a henchman. Should have taken them out, but that's all right. Then just playing solitaire. Man, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out life, man. All right. So now we go to this side. First player, right? Because we just did second player. So first player, we move this over. And another Hydra thing. Okay. You had three attack left over. Did I really? Or did we do all of it? I thought. Oh, no. We did have three left over. All right. So we'll take out the Sentinel. And we'll throw away um, a Gold Star. Can I just put these together? They don't need to be separate, right? Just put them all together. All right. So now we put in this one. This one was just put in for this. Four, five, six. Okay, so we have Arc Reactor. So we can draw a card. All right, Nick Fury, sweet. So Nick Fury is gonna give us two attack, plus we key off of this one, so it's plus one attack. So then this one now gets three attack, and you get plus one for each other of those other cards played. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight damage, nine damage, 10 damage. And then we have two stars. So 10 damage, we might as well do a Red Skull thing, right? So that brings it down to 3 left over, which doesn't work for anyone. So we'll do Red Skull. You don't have to... Oh, okay. So do it. All right. So this is... Look at the top three cards of your deck. KO1. Discard one and put one back on top of your deck. Okay. Let's put that there for a second. One, two, three. So I get to KO1. Oh, Wow. The choices. What shall we ever do? All right, just uh, discard that one and put that one back on top. Okay, and then we can't buy anything. What does he have? He's got two more masterminds left. We can't buy anything. So these are all done. Discard. Draw up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we have um, basically a, a nothing burger here. That's fine. 
this side now. All right, so we have to flip this over. Okay, that does that. Cool. I didn't have three though. I just had two, right? I had two dollars, I think. I had two dollars. Yeah, I only had two dollars. We can't buy shield agent. <laughs> All right, so we have two, three, four damage and three dollars. Uh, so four is not enough for a mastermind. Three dollars can get us a black widow, which could be good. Actually, I do like that. So let's spend three dollars to get a black widow. Ooh, a cheap Wolverine. All right, so th four damage. We'll take out the Hydra kidnappers. Right, yeah. Four damage to the Hydra Kidnappers. Um, you may gain a shield officer. I don't think I want to. Eh. Maybe. What does that Black Widow do? The red one? Uh, this one or this one? Actually, the same card, right? Yeah, the same card. Um, so, to attack, you may KO a card from your hand or discard pile if you do rescue a bystander. Alright, so that's all that. You can't get anything for two bucks, right? One, two, three, four. Let's put that down there for now because I hate picking up off the board. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, shield. Okay, we got some options here. We can KO some stuff. Okay. Work for peanuts, too. Oh, I thought they just worked for, like, funsies. First player now. Uh, we flip this card over. It is Venom. Okay. That's fine. So, now, what we're looking at is a drawler card. So, we'll draw a card. Uh, okay, it's a different Iron Man. So we get two, three damage, and we have two, three, four, five dollars. All right, so with their five dollars, I want to buy this arc reactor because that's been pretty strong for us. Spider Man came and pays rent. And then for three damage, we could do nothing, right? Yeah, we can't do anything for three. So, one, one, one. One, two, then we get to draw up. Or, no, I'm sorry, shuffle up to draw up. <laughs> Hydra starting to pile up. Tough choices. I know, right? I feel like the endless Hydra armies are going to catch up to me. I feel like it's going to catch up to me suddenly. When do you take wounds? When it tells you to? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, a couple attack and a draw card. All right, card that flips over is the lizard. Okay, so our area is full of enemies trying to kill us with their murder bots. Until the end of the turn, but it's not a big deal. Card you, you played. Okay, no, that's good to know. Uh, certain things will give you wounds. Okay. So, um, let's see, we got, okay, draw a card. I want to do that. So we're going to draw a card. Okay, that was, a, that was lame. All right, so we got some attack. We got some, we got some attack, folks. All right, so we have a two attack, which is going to key off of this. So it's going to be three, four, five. Oh, oh yeah, that's fine. Six, seven, eight damage. We have eight damage. This one allow us to KO a card from your hand or discard pile. We're gonna KO one of these dollars. Uh, actually, we'll buy. I don't think we want the golden card. I don't think there's other golden cards there. So we're just gonna KO one of those. But we can do two. What do we say? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Which 
does the damage to a mastermind, right? So I'll take the bottom card again, which is you get plus four stars. Okay, that changes things. So now we have five monies. Okay, maybe I, I am gonna buy this Wolverine right now. Uh, so he, oops, that that's, goes over there. Does it have a surge mechanic when you draw them? Ugh. What do you think so far? So far, not bad. Only four people here. On my end, it says there's zero people here. So I have no idea what's going on with YouTube. Either there's a huge issue with YouTube or whatever, but it went from averaging 30 some this whole time to like in a second it dropped off. So maybe, I don't know. Not going to worry about it. One for me. Yeah, it just, I think there's something wrong with YouTube's numbers. It happens all the time. Oh, shoot. One, two, three. I accidentally just put all these guys in my victory pile. Four, five, uh, six. Okay. So we draw up. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So we got some attack. got some good stuff. I don't really trust a lot of the live numbers. It gives me analytics later. All right. This side. So now we have to do a victory thing, right? So they escaped. Which is fine, I guess. It doesn't really matter. All right. Nothing. Does anything happen when they escape? YouTube bringing the negativity? Exactly. Thank you, YouTube. All right. So does something happen when they escape or no? Do I just move on with my life? Here, wait, you KO it here in the lineup? Where does it say? Is that just a general rules thing I have to know? Sorry, can you just KO any one of these? Oh, he gets really strong with all of these getting KO'd. Oh, I get that now. Hmm. All right, let's KO other Nick Fury. Because I want that one. That one's sweet. Anything under seven costs? Okay, that's six. Cool. It costs six or less. Okay. We'll have an escape. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any escape stuff on here. So that's fine. Okay. Cool. Well, not cool. Wait, what was I doing? Was I doing player one or player two? Hold on. I already forgot what I was doing. Left? Okay, thank you. Thank you, chat. All right, so left side. We have to draw a card first, right? Wait, didn't we do that? What went here? Did I not flip over? Was that what I screwed up on? I should have done this first, then shifted everything over. If I had a bystander, all players discard a card. Interesting. All right, I think we're good now. Sorry about all the screw ups. My bad. So we have that left side. Left side, we have draw a card. So we're going to play a draw a card. Uh, okay, it's the other. Okay, so we have attacks. Two, three, four, five. Oh, we only have five attack. And we have three dollars. All right, so two, three, four, five damage. We didn't play another blue, so five damage. I will guess I'll take out the lizard. So deal five damage, take out the lizard. Why not? And then we have three dollars. I don't want anything. I think we put Wolverine on this side. I guess we'll take a shield officer for now. That's fine. Do you have everything for this game? No. Two, three, four, five, six. I have this and like the Fantastic Four expansion. 
One, two, three, four, five. All right, so six cards. We have the draw a card one. Okay, cool. Right side. I need a first player token. Oh, we can use we can use one of my Pokemon tokens. All right, first player, Eevee. All right, so we first have to flip a card. Uh, bystander. Okay, so this shifts over one spot. That's full. Okay, cool. Always reverse and shift. Now I, I, you're right. Hundred percent, I should. All right, so we have two. Three, four damage, and two dollars. So with our four damage, we could take out a bystander. And with our two dollars, we can get one of the Wolverine cards. And we get rid of all of that. Where are we? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. So now we draw back up to six. One, two, three, four. All right. Five cards here. And then we have to shuffle up. Because there are a ton of expansions for this game. I only have a few. I'm afraid to get them all. I know. I hear like so many of them are so impossible to get. That's just whatever. I'm all good with it. All right. So what did we say we had? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. All right. Bad card is... Uh, more kill bots, not bystanders. So on this side, all right, so I only have to hit him one more time and then we win, right? Is that how it works? Or do you have to hit him once more after that card is gone? Players must work together to beat the mastermind four times. If they do, the mastermind is beaten once and for all. All right, so we've beaten him. Yeah, so the next one's the fourth time, right? One, two, three. Yeah, next one's the fourth one. All right, so we have two, three, four, five dollars in one attack, but we have a draw card. So we'll draw a card. Okay, it's more money. All right, we could do one damage, which means nothing. So we're not going to do that. Uh, two, three, four, five, six dollars. Oh, we're so close to that. Uh, I think we have blue on this side. We'll spend three to get Emma Frost. Three. Oh, that's a big Emma Frost one. Okay. We'll get rid of this. One, two, three, four. I like the option will defeat him a fifth time. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to make the game harder than I have to. <laughs> More for competitive mode. Okay. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, all right. We got some big hits. So we have the win next turn. Now, this flips over. Sentinel thing. Okay. So this escapes we have to get rid of a card right so we'll just get rid of that i don't know why i shifted all that over don't ask me all right and that comes in uh yeah we put them all in i'm pretty sure we put in we i think we put in everything i mean chat watch me do it <laughs> all right so now we have a draw a card so we're going to draw a card. It's Emma Frost. Wait, that's going to be... Oh, this might be a wins. So we're going to draw another card. So that's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. That's going to win, right? And you get plus 3 fight. So that's cool too, I guess. Bystanders go underneath the villain. So they don't. They're kill bots. They're not actual bystanders. So you are normally correct. But I think we won. Scheme twist on the bottom. Wait, all right. So next one was the Sentinel. God, where were they? Okay, there's the first Master Strike. There were two in a row near the bottom. 
and a lot of scheme twists. Man, I shuffled this good, too. They were all on the bottom. So that was borderline cheating, I guess. <laughs> I shuffled it. I don't know what you all want from me. <laughs> All right, that was uh, that was fine. That was fine. It's a decent enough deck builder. It's very. It's not, I don't want to say it's basic, um, but it was very easy for me to grasp onto, I guess, which is good. I guess it's a good first time. That was a good like getting the feel for things and not getting too crazy. Um, yeah, I feel like that was good for a first time. Sleeve it one day if we start investing in this game. Good learning game? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're usually pretty straightforward. I agree. That's how I am with Hero Realms. I love Hero Realms, but it's very basic. Now time to solo Galactus. Oh, okay, let's not get crazy here. All right, we, we, we play once for fun. I think that's all we're going to do is just play the one time. My brain hurts a little bit. But yeah, I mean, I think it was... I think it's good in the way that it works. Like, I think it's fun. Um... It's a much different game than Marvel Champions. I mean, that's a hundred percent for sure. But it's fun. I think I think it's a fun enough game. I think it's interesting. I like the combo that it works. Playing it casual, yeah. I mean, Marvel Champions is still going to take it the majority of time for sure. Um, but yeah, I I think the way it works is pretty cool and pretty fun. Can you do a scheme twist or mastermind? Yeah. So let's just say we would have gotten a scheme twist. So, Scheme Twist would have just, oh, okay, so the Scheme Twist would have just put that up here, so that the kill bots slash bystanders would have been four instead, so they just would have gotten tougher a little bit faster. If we would have pulled a Master Strike, here we go, um, each player KOs a hero from their hand, which kind of stinks, because you don't want to lose your heroes, obviously. But it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. So. But that would have been all that kind of happened. Was I would have catered a hero from each of my hands. Which does stink. Uh, but the Master Strike would have just made the kill bots a little more difficult. So like it would have speed up the game probably a little quicker. I recommend looking at the solo rules and the advanced solo rules. Solo takes some time with less brain power without having to switch back and forth between players. When I want to, uh, as a Marvel Champions player, I found this to be a very fun game when I want to break from Champions. It definitely is a much different feel. It's a much different feel, which is nice. I mean, obviously one's deck construction, one's deck building, so. What if standalone, maybe more your speed, has more mechanics and the masterminds are harder? Interesting. Is it in this or is it like a separate thing you have to look up? I thought I saw something about Solo in here. Solo play. Um, okay. F hero deck uses cards for three heroes. 40. Okay, so three heroes. Mastermind, ignore the Mastermind's always leads ability. Oh, okay. Scheme, use any scheme except superhero, civil war, and negative zone prisoner breakout. Villain deck, use these cards. KO a hero. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem that much different. What if has a better version? Oh, okay. Yeah, this seems pretty straightforward. Would everyone recommend Dark City as your next step for the base game? That's what people told me, that Dark City was back on sale, I guess. You hit Master Strikes and Scheme Twist more often. Okay. But yeah, a lot of people were saying Dark City um, was back on sale, I think, is what I saw people saying. It's been reprinted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I definitely, definitely recommend that. What does it add? That makes it uh, good. Hold on, let me switch to my face. Um, uh, who is this by? Top, top, upper deck, upper deck. Legendary. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. all right, let's, 
Double the heroes and masterminds. Okay. Um, Marvel Legendary. Let's look up Marvel Legendary stuff for fun. For fun. All right. So they have so much stuff. Um, they have a nicer play mat, which is always nice. Oh, this is Dark City. Okay. 30 all new playable, or no, 350 all new playable cards. And rules. All right. So that, yeah, that's like a big box expansion. Okay. And are all these smaller ones just like heroes and villains? Is that kind of what it is? Okay. Yeah. So 100 playable heroes, five heroes, two masterminds, two henchmen groups, five. Ba okay. So just kind of add stuff. I saw World War Hulk. Did you? All right, obviously Guardians of the Galaxy. Five heroes, okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. this one. Well, that's fun. Most 100 card boxes have two masterminds, two villain groups, five heroes, and four schemes. Okay. Fantastic Four, Dark City, and Guardians. Yeah, I have Fantastic Four as well. Personal favorite with the transform keyword. So they start adding in like crazy amounts of keywords eventually. When I, the one stream I watched was they had this Black Widow one that he was playing, and he said he liked it. Fantastic Four is super fun. We'll do it again sometime. There are a ton of keywords. My nemesis in life. A ton. <laughs> let you get stone shards uh, that let you back up power between turns. Oh my god. Do you? So in general, you only play with like a handful of things, right? You don't play with all of these at once, right? Look at the keywords. All right, hold on. Let me bring it to the side. Keywords for Marvel. All right, hold on. I think it's sign in. Oh, dear God. That's, um, it's a lot of keywords. That's, uh, that's a lot. Uh, most game, you have five heroes if you play two-handed. Okay. But if you have five heroes from five different expansions, a mastermind from another two villains. From okay. Okay. So you can mix mix and match. How many pages? It's only eight, nine. Wait, what's the ninth page? Oh, this is just a full co-op. So eight, eight pages. That's all. Wait, no, no. That's reminders. So six pages of actual keywords. You have to isolate a group of hero cards you want to play with. It's not too bad. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's one of those things that you kind of just get into too. All right, so they have Spider-Man stuff, Shield deck. Um, actually, do they just have? What is what do they have over here? All right, so look at Marvel Legendary. I accept your stupid things. All right, so this is the what if box. Courtney is saw. I like the artwork on some of this. Huh. Two sided hero cards? I've seen that before. <laughs> All right, so Marvel. All right, so twenty ninety nine. I'm already a fan of that. All right, that's cool. Comes with a play with a play mat too. Excellent. 
All right, the Infinity Saga. That seems cool to me. Oh, it's I don't like when card art does that. <laughs> that is not a me thing. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Midnight Suns. A lot of people like Midnight Suns, right? Once you get a lot of expansions, I had to bow it for a while because Seb was so heavy. It's not my thing for art either. Yeah. Hey, Heiser, how's it going? Marvel Legendary, what kind of communist stream are we doing tonight? Oh, you know. But it was fine. We did our first game. It was good. Super awesome. Very new. Wait, so does this have actual artwork from the movies? <sighs> Boo. Boo. No, thank you. I have everything but X-Men. Damn. Realm of Kings. What's that? Oh, is this Black Adam? Or Black Bolt? Not Black Adam. Ooh, a bonus card. Give me that bonus card. What's the bonus card? Look at that bad boy. A bonus card. He thinks he's playing Ark. <laughs> oh, Asgard stuff. Wait, is Valkyrie is Valkyrie one of the heroes? Oh, there she is. Let's go. Just like. She is? Oh, so goaded. The mutants. All right. Emma Frost is a mastermind. Warlock. Oh, new mutants. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She's okay. Oh, she's not Marvel Champions good. Why would you want Valkyrie as a hero, though? Because uh, she's goaded. His favorite expansion already? Uh oh. Seems like a waste of cardboard. I'm I, where somebody find the ban button. Mod on YouTube. Oh, they have a Venom box. That's fun. I like Venom. Venom pool. Poison that. That's fun how they did this. Maximum Carnage. All right. Venom is a good box. Oops. Deadpool, Marvel Noir. That's fun. Uh, this is probably everyone's favorite. They have Spider Man. Or not Spider Man, Daredevil. Luke Cage Noir, Iron Man Noir. Oh, that's cool. Limited edition promo card. Buy it. Secret War. Okay, so Secret Wars and Civil War are other big box ones. The thing I like about Legendary is there's so many experiences that you can get heroes you like and skip what you don't. Yeah. So, I guess I played very quickly. Do you usually cycle through the entire hero deck, or is that a thing that, like, normally doesn't happen? But it gets old from what I've heard. Man, it happens in Marvel Champions, too. Playing the DC deck builder game? Uh, no, I don't own it. I will not be playing that. It doesn't happen often? Okay. Okay. Oh, if you run out of the hero deck, you lose? Well, that's that's depressing. <laughs> but usually you don't go through it that fast. Okay. So yeah, I guess this is pretty close to everything that they have. Or at least what they have in stock, I guess. Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix would be fun. Oh wait, I didn't even see Paint the Town Red. 
more spider stuff. If I was to invest in this, I'd probably end up getting most of the spider stuff, to be completely honest. There's an X-Men big box. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But I think that's what people are saying were really hard to get. I wish there was like just a list of all the expansions. Wait, can you find it on here? Um, Marvel Legendary. We'll just will just show me all of them. Okay, wait, 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 here we go. Dark City, Secret Wars. What's this one? This one just says villains. Oh, it's literally just villains. Okay. So you play as the villains, I guess. Oh my god, there's plot cards. Oh shoot. Have you tried out Marvel United yet? No. No, I have not. Any page of boards? Yeah. Alright, so Fantastic Four. Paint the Town Red. Alright, here's the X-Men one people keep talking about. That you can't find. Oh god, I can't read. Oh, okay. Zoomed in. Alright, Phoenix. Sweet. Is magic okay? Jubilee, fun. Oh, is that Dark Phoenix? No. Oh, Pol uh, Polaris. Okay. That one's near impossible to find. Do they ever reprint them in general, or do they not? All right, so that's X-Men. All right, Secret Wars Volume 2, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America 75th Anniversary, World War Hulk, uh, Fear Itself. Oh, Enchant Your Villains. Ugh. Marvel Noir, Deadpool. Water. Just vi it's just villains they don't reprint. Interesting. Annihilation wave. Oops. Huh. Not big boxes, but well after the fact. Fear itself with expansion villains. They were trying to make it like a different line. Huh. And, oh my god. Sorry, I keep hitting control. Uh, Venom, Heroes of Asgard, Dimensions. What's Dimensions? Let's see, James Jonas Jameson, JJ Jameson. Oh, Howard the Duck. Let's go. That's worth getting for just Howard the Duck. I don't want to edit it. Uh, Civil War Sky reprint. Okay. To the Cosmos, Doctor Strange, Messiah Complex. What mutants are those? Let's see. Uh, Lord Shingen, Gorgon. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Messiah Complex is really good. God, I feel like they just print out so much. How many expansions they come out with like a year? 27th expansion. I mean, this game has only been around for not that long, right? Like 10 years or so, 15 years. So it's like two expansions a year? Three expansions a year? Three to four, okay. A 30th is coming out in the fall, okay. Oh, an or OP kit. Weapon X is the next one. Wolverine gets an expansion based on his time as a subject of Weapon X. 2012? Okay. Uh, yeah, 2012. 2012. You guys are right. That's wild. That's wild. It's cool that it has such a strong fan base for all this time, though. That's really, really cool. It's always cool to see a, a, a game last that long and grow that long and whatnot. It's really neat. But yeah, so very long story short, 
That was good. That was fun. I don't know how much I'll invest into it. Because I have enough card games. But. All right, Power. I appreciate it. Don't worry. I'm out of here soon anyway, too. Um, this will just be a shorter stream. Um, well, two hours. It's not too bad. But yeah, no, I think it's I think it's fun. I think it's. Uh, I definitely think it's fun. I think it's good. I think investing in the spider stuff would be the most fun for me. Um, I think that's what I would enjoy the most. So maybe that's what I'll do. Um, it's just now and again, if I see them on sale, I'll just pick up a box and play it. I don't know if it's one that will play all the time or anything, but I, I could see me pulling this game out now and again and trying it. I think this is pretty good. Just get the ones you want. Yeah. For his fancy fight games, they have his 78 expansions by now. Yeah. They got to pick up their pace, right? But yeah, no, I will say that it was, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I will say that. Um, I know a lot of people say like, oh, it's not that good and whatever. Um, and I think they're compared to Marvel Champions. I think Marvel Champions is a much better game for me personally, but it's still good. Playing a couple of solo leagues myself in the day. I, like I said, I know Bagel Top Games does a thing. Look for people unloading their collections. You can get a ton of uh, discount. Where do you look? Like Reddit and Facebook or, or Board Game Geek? It's what got me in the card games. I could say it. I can see it. But yeah, it's definitely it's definitely fun. Facebook? Okay. I'll have to take a look. Join uh, all y'all join the Discord. If we see things, let me know. It's a different game, which is fine. No, it's good. It's it's definitely good. Um so yeah, I I I like different different games. Um I like card games in general. So this is definitely what I, I see us putting into the rotation now and again and playing. Um but yeah, I was I was impressed by it. I think it was much better. It was much better than I thought it was gonna be. I think is the the safest way to put it. Um, so yeah, definitely enjoyed it. Definitely enjoyed it. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna get some early early night rest. Just treat it every now and again. It's my first solo tabletop game. Nice, nice. All right, well, chat. I appreciate the help. Thank you so much for helping me tonight. It means a lot. Join the Discord, like I said. Um, we can talk more about this game and whatnot. I'll start looking at expansions. If everyone sees things to, you know, unload, let me know. Lord Havoc, speaking of which, is uh, you're streaming tonight, right? In like a few hours, five, six hours, uh, who you're going to be doing custom content with Joshi, who's usually in chat. Um, so if you want to see custom content for Marvel Champions, make sure to go check out his Twitch uh, channel link stream thing. So if you want to see that, six hours from now. So if you if you are free in six hours, go go check out Lord Havoc down there. Go click on his name, check out his stream if you want to go uh, check that out. It'll be good content for you all. So, all right, everyone, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much. This was fun. This was enjoyable. I appreciate the support. Take care. Join the Discord. Follow. Subscribe. All that fun stuff. Why not? All right. See y'all later.